I'm just waiting for Glennie to come on. I'll bring her on the screen. I apologize, I'm in my son's room because I'm recording a take, a, um, oh my gosh, hold on a second. Oh, here, she's there. Um, Glennie, are you on your phone? Because I'm not able to see an invite button. So I don't know if you're on your phone or your laptop because you have to be on your phone for me able to bring you in. Let's see if I can turn this around a little bit so. Uh, Glennie, you can't, I can't bring you in on your laptop, so you have to come on your phone, sweetie. You can only do, you can only do two um, people on your phone. Okay, great. Okay, let me see if this is better. Sorry, guys. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, great. I'll wait for Glennie to come, and then we'll spend some time just talking to you about the paddle parties. Gosh, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Okay, there we go, Glennie. Perfect. split screen on a, um, a iPad or a laptop. Okay. I've only done the split screen once yeah. and didn't initiate. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. what time did you get out hey. last night? We'll wait for everybody to get in their seats and then we'll get started. Gosh, it was, I got home at 11 cause it's right around the corner for me, okay. like two minutes away. Yeah. But we finished right at 11. <laughs> it was, uh, well, you know, and I didn't it, realize, you know, I posted, um, when I advertised that we were coming on, I posted a um, a just a entry form, a document that other people had created. Hey, Amy. Hey, Jocelyn. Um, with the paddle parties, and I don't know if you noticed, there was a lot more description on that than yeah. what we got. Because one of the yeah. things that Kim and I were sharing is that we felt, um, and you, those of you listening, might want to also um, think about this, is we felt it wasn't. Um, well coordinated. I mean, the people were super nice. In fact, I have to tell you, my heart just was tugged all night by not only the individual, the woman and her child, her young daughter, she, her daughter was autistic and she was nonverbal autistic and um, they were raising money for a service dog, which I didn't realize that it cost so much. It's $7,000 and the insurance company pays nothing for it. But, um, but anyway, so it was just a very inspiring and touching evening. However, it, they said it started at six. Well, it didn't start till seven. Six o'clock was where I guess you got set up, Glenny, and your table set up and everybody. So we got there at six o'clock and nothing started until seven. Right. We went from seven to 10. And we left, I think Kim and I left a little bit, like we left a little bit after 10 even and it was still going. Yeah, yeah. Well, the six, the six to seven is to visit the tables. So as 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 people come in, sort of like an expo type. So yeah. as people come in, they find their seats. Then it gives them time to walk around to the okay, tables okay. and and do ra uh, ra table raffles and that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah there yeah. were a couple things I was very curious about, but um, you know, I just I'll start this I'll start this call off and then I'll let Glenny tell you a little bit about her experience and then I'll add, you know, my experience. Again, it was a great time. I mean, in fact, we all Kim and Glenny and I decided that we will make sure that we participate. We keep our slot every single month because it was it, it was an amazing opportunity. Now, granted, we had like 35 or 38 vendors and um, they added new vendors. I think there were four or five new ones and they were filled. They said, now we're filled. And that, and that hall was pretty big. I mean, it held probably, I'm going to say there was probably about 200 customers there. Don't you think? Absolutely. And there was a waiting list even after, even the, the number we had, she was, she had to turn away vendors because there was just not Right, she turned space. away vendors, not, not, not people that visited. She turned away. But I think every seat was filled 
that had oh, you know, the yes. tables were all filled. And, um, you know, and again, and again, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good size hall. And one of the things that I also loved about it is they, um, they did a 50, 50 and then they served food. And so all this was to, to give, to donate for whoever the, whoever the, their, that they're choosing as an organization that month gets, gets, you know, that the bulk of that kind of, of that kind of, um, you know, you know, cash, you know, benefit. Um, and I don't know if you were going to share this, Glenny, but one of the things I thought about driving home, I mean, they kept it bare bones. I mean, you could tell, honestly, guys, I'm just going to say this, and I think this is probably why my heart was so tugged every single moment of time. Most of the people there had no money. I mean, literally, they did not. You could tell they were very, they were big with money. And um, so, and yet, they brought in their quarters to support, you know, this this lady and her her child. And there's no doubt that part of the audience was be was those that knew her and were there to support her. And it could have been their first time playing, you know, the paddle the paddles and the um, quarter auctions. So so I think that's the other draw that you're going to see when you do something like this is you're going to get people to, to show up because whoever the organization or the family or the person, whatever, whatever, you know, you choose to support that month or whatever is being chosen, um, you get people coming out of the woodwork to, to support them. And, um, oh, so back to what I was going to share, because I didn't know if Jenny Glennie had had on her new notes is the paddles. Did you, did you, were you planning on sharing how they made the paddles? Oh, with the you with the the, the well, sticks. Well, they took they took oh. um they took the I'm sure when Williams paint sticks. Yeah, and then right. and, True, um, yeah. and Kim and I were at jo Joanne's Fabrics this this afternoon because I was picking up some Valentine stuff for Kim Merritt um, as a way of thank you for her doing our our training on bath bombs, and we saw this really cute you know Valentine plates, and I I picked it up and I said to Kim. <laughs> you could use these as your paddles. You know, the head of your paddles are just sturdy paper plates. Well, once they get on the on their Sherwin-Williams stick, they are sturdy. And you could even put them, like, put, take the plates and put them together and then put the stick in the middle. And that way you've got a plate on both sides. Wow. Um, so you've got mm -hmm. the number on both sides. Because we only had the number on one side, which was fine. But, you know, you could do that. So, guys, I mean, really, this is this was bare bones. I mean, they... It was bare bones. So, um, so anyway, I'm gonna let you take it over, Glennie, and just share, you know, your experience, what you, what the donations were, how they worked, and, um, you know, and then I'll just wrap up with some of the other ideas that I took from the from the call, business business ideas like the VIP membership and things like that. Which, oh, by the way, can I say one more thing? We had a ta the table that was next to Glennie's was a. Um, Damsel in, de in Defense. Mm -hmm. And was her name April or Hope? Uh, Amanda. Um, oh, no. Amanda. <laughs> yes, it was Amanda. No, 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 Ashley. I'm sorry, Ashley. 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 Well, there are just certain people when you're in direct sales and you are, and you have a team or you're looking to grow a team, you're looking for certain types of individuals. Now, somebody can surprise you and you get somebody that's introverted and she totally rocks it. I mean, totally it happens. Um, however, there are just certain people that you meet there. You're thinking, oh my goodness, no matter what she supports, she is going to be amazing. So she sat across the table from Kim and I beside Glennie. And I finally, I just couldn't, I couldn't wait any longer. I could not keep from saying to her, okay, I have to tell you, I would love to have you join Lemongrass Spa. I don't know if you're thinking about doing some part time because she had, she had her, um, she had her um, her Facebook profile where she was a health coach. And um, and so, you know, of course, the compliment we gave her, you could tell she was just in awe. But I was serious. And we friended her while we were there. And we just talked to her about it and said, and I typically guys do not, um, and I know you're going to think I don't poach on other companies. Sure I do. Because people can do two, two companies all the time. But I don't like to have someone typically, I don't find I don't find it very successful when someone does two different brands. That's just just my just my years of experience. It's hard for them 
to be able to focus on one or the, on or the other, and especially when they're formed a team, because their team is then torn. Are you doing better in damsel in distress? Are you better in, in lemongrass spa? Which one should I join? So it's hard. It's difficult. There's a really fine line, and sometimes it, it moves back and forth. But in this case, I threw caution to the wind, and I said, oh, my gosh, I would so love to have you on our team. Would you consider it? And so we face we friend her, and she's going to do. Um, I encourage you to do a party, a joint party with um, with Glenny, so she can get some experience with our product line. But listen, I'm 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 going to stay with you. Do you know who she reminds me of, Kathy? Who? Stephanie. Yes. Stephanie Van Ness. Yes, you're probably absolutely right. She was so she personable and so comfortable. She had her husband yeah. with her, and he didn't say a word. I mean, he was, yeah, he he was <laughs> very um, introverted, but he was supportive. He had held those paddles up when she was up front, and, um, and I winked at him a couple of times because I thought, I'm impressed, you know, because he went ahead and took out took, took a little bit of a stretch. Um, Glenny, I'm going to get my charger because my phone just said it's got low power, so you go ahead and start. Okay. okay. Well, first I want to say um, I, I'm – I was a newbie at this. I, I had never gone to a paddle auction or quarter auction before, so I had no idea what I was walking into. You know, um, they added me to the Facebook. First of all, they had two Facebook, um, a Facebook page where they put all of their vendors. So once you've uh, ex been accepted as a vendor for them the first time, they put you in the vendor page. And that's um, where you will, you will get the instructions and everything. And I read through them. So I had some idea. Well, I say no idea. I have no experience in it. But I did read through the instructions. And, and on you know looking back on it, now it all makes sense. But for reading it, you just, don't get, you just don't get the full flavor until you get there. You just really don't get it. Right. Because honestly, I wasn't really looking forward to this. It wasn't something I thought, you know, it's not going to... This might be a waste of my time, you know, <laughs> yep. but I went anyway, and I am so glad I did because I had a wonderful time. So, you know, I've heard people, you, you've heard people say before, I like supers, well, this is a threesome because not only are we benefiting a charity, you get your name out there, and it is so much fun. I'm going to do it again and again. It's, and know, again, Saturday again. nights is not yeah, it's it's wonderful. It was just a fun time, and I met so many wonderful oh, people last wonderful. night. wonderful. And uh, I know I didn't even get around all the tables to visit them, but I just really enjoyed it so, so much. So, um, you know, just to give you an idea, um, if it's okay, Kathy, I'll just do kind of a, yeah, a, an overview of what, okay. Absolutely. So, so the, the theme of the night was, again, like Kathy said, all the money that was raised is going to charity. So... Um, she had, what, 25, 28 vendors, something like that. So each vendor pays $20. Part of that money is to pay for the haul, part, and then what's left over goes to the charity. And then as a vendor, you get your paddle. So you don't have to pay for your paddle because that's part of your $20. And then, um, uh, then you have um, each vendor also has a table set up or a table, and then you bring your, your set up like you would at, to a health fair or an expo. I did a hand spa treatment. Again, I, I don't ever do a table without a hand spa treatment no matter what because I think that really um, gets people interested. I mean, even some of the people last night who went, ah, I don't know about that. After they did the hand spa, <laughs> they were sold. Well, well and Glenn, you, you, had, you had the longest line of all the tables waiting for that hand spa. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, Kim and I sat there and watched, and we're like, oh, my gosh, look around. Gail Glenny has the <laughs> longest line of that table. And I do want to say also the paddles that they charged us were $3. Yeah, yeah, I was getting ready to get so okay. so so as a vendor, you pay the twenty, you get your paddle. But exactly right, Kathy. So as you as the as the visitors come in who want to participate in the auction, you come in and you sign in and you get a paddle for three dollars, and then you also get a door prize slip. And it, the door prize slip has the table number of each of the um, of the vendors, and so for them to be entered into the the um, the, the um, door prize raffle at the end of the night, then you have to, ha or yeah, the, at the second, in the second auction, you have to, you have to have every vendor checked on there. So uh, the vendor has to sign the spot. So as people were coming to my table, of course, I had to sign their spot. And um, so they got that. And then, of course, between, it started at six, 
and between six and seven. So as a vendor, I had to be set up. Every all the vendors had to be set up by six. So as the visitors were coming in, they were they were going around the tables like you would at an expo or help fair, visiting the tables. And some tables had raffles where you they were buying raffle tickets. They might have had a basket with a bottle of wine and some chocolate and you know. Um, a, a gift certificate so they had something nice to set on the table and that that is optional to do a table raffle of course as a lemongrass consultant i did the spiral for six and then i also did i did two raffles actually i did um i did a uh, pomegranate uh gift set so a small one just like the uh, the lotion and the polish it wasn't you know the whole gift set but part of it but um i didn't I didn't charge for my raffles. I had them sign our survey sheets like we normally do because um, my goal is not to sell. I wasn't, I didn't even offer anything. I didn't sell anything off my table last night and I normally don't, uh, maybe except for Christmas. But um, a lot of them were out there selling, you know, selling off the table, which you, that's fine. But what I was doing was taking orders and my goal even, even further than that was to get that survey slip filled out. So I was offering the spy hour for six and, a, and an extra bonus there. So I was, um, that's, that's an option that you have. So you can put a raffle on the table and some people were charging, you know, a dollar a ticket instead of getting names like I do, they were just giving out tickets, which I, I, I really, I mean, for us, I think it's better for us to give for follow-up is to get those, get those uh, contact them as leads. Um, so that was, that was part of the whole six to seven. So as, as each person walked around, um, they got they got the vendor to sign their their door price slip, and then at seven o'clock that's when the auction started. Now each vendor is required to bring two auction items, so that's two auction items and a charity item. So the two auction items can be I saw so much last night it was wine related. It was a bottle of wine and a gift certificate, or you know something that wasn't even part of what they were selling. Uh, you, um, we were we so. were so confused by that, guys, because. <laughs> Somebody, I mean, let's, like, let's say the, a nail person, color strips or whatever that new nail place is, she had one strip of nails, but she had chocolates, and I mean, literally 90% of the people had a bottle of wine, and I'm not exaggerating. We kept looking at each oh, other yeah. thinking, what is it <laughs> with the wine? wine? I mean, we literally, we were missing something that we, being new to the, new to that quarter entree, we were missing something where it was, it was a wine, a wine um, you know, auction. I mean, it was a wine auction. It was a wine auction. And so most, but a yeah. lot of them didn't include anything of their product in with it. The ones that did, like the 31 lady, she had no wine. She did her basket. You looked up and down and everybody's paddles were up paddles when were they, up. Yeah. when, when she brought out the, ba the bag or the basket or something like that. Um, clearly, yeah. visually, they knew what her product was and they wanted right. it. So she got, she got, one of the most 100% paddles up for sure. Right. And I think, um, so, because I was a newbie, I had no idea what to, to what to bring in as the auction items. I mean, they gave me a dollar range, um, anywhere from 20 to $30. So I, I tried to keep it to that. Um, but I think, well, I, obviously I'm going to make some changes next time so that it's more in tune with, um, what they look like, for example, if they've been to my table and they've tried the body polish, they're going to want that body polish if it's in a, um, you know, in an auction because they've tried it, they fell in love with it. Or even, you know, the plug-in, the wall, the wall diffusers or the car diffusers with a, you know, essential oil. So for the auction items, I will be changing that up somewhat. So it, it, you know, when I gave a loving care gift set, they had no idea. What no that idea. Was, you know, now in the essential. Okay, no. Yeah, be quiet, Kathy. I was going to say the essential oil lady. Everybody knew about essential oils because their right. panels are up. I'm like, they know right. about essential oils. I mean, I was surprised, and she, she that right. essential oil package was panels were up exactly. So it's it's important to put something that people can identify with, so that their so their paddles will go up. And always, always, always put a gift certificate in there. So I put a gift certificate in everything that I had up there on the table, whether it's five dollars, ten dollars, or whatever. Make sure that there's something that entices them to come back to you. 
um, to place the orders. Right. So the way the auction worked, so when you when you go up, the, so there's two there was two there was two auctions, a first and a second auction, and the the split was like a break for dinner, like you could go in and get a drink or whatever. So the first auction section, you had one auction item that you brought up to the table. So what happens is when, when you go up and then the you have uh, the way they were doing the numbers is they had a bingo, like one of those big, big, uh, you know, church bingo uh, cages with all the numbers in it. And so that corresponded to the paddle numbers. So when you went up and you, you went up and you gave just a very quick speech about who you are, what this what this um, what this auction item is and what it does, and you know you want to be excited and give them you know uh, get them involved. And I had people raise their hands as to who who has visited my table and got you know the the hand spa treatment and all that. And so um, so what they do is each person that's interested in bidding will put a quarter. So you can say, okay, this is going for a quarter. And so on each table was a was a um, brown was a bowl. And so if you wanted to be in the running, be uh, um, eligible to win this item, then you put a quarter in. And if you put a quarter in the bowl, then you could hold your paddle up. And the fun thing about it was, if there's people around you, and I didn't know this at first until Ashley said something, because she knew I was a newbie. So I told her, I said, look, Ashley, you're going to have to help me out here, because I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. Yeah. So that's when she told us, hey, guys, if you, if you want to have more than one paddle, then you can, you can use somebody else's paddle and put two quarters in. Or three paddles and put three quarters in. So if they're not using their paddles, you can ask them, can I use your paddle? So you can have three entries. So everybody gets their quarters in, they go and they um, she, she, she moves the cage and she gets her the number. And then that number, if your paddle is up, that means that you've put a quarter in, then you're eligible. And if your number is up, is drawn, then you win that auction item. But if you didn't go into the bidding, if, you're, if your paddle's down and you didn't bid, then they go and they draw another number. So that's how that, it works. And did that happen to anybody at our table last night? Where somebody it, happened, <laughs> it happened to me because I wasn't interested. I, I think it was a Cincy or something. I'm not interested in that, and I happened to win it. I know, but I, I, I know. I My number did not get yeah. caught. I didn't bid on a whole lot of things. And by the at the end of the night, I just took my quarters and put them on the bowl because I hadn't <laughs> auct I hadn't bid on hardly anything. Um, I think I bid on the 31 just because – if I got it, I knew Glennie was bidding no. on it. And, you know, instead of giving her my yeah. paddle and having her put an extra quarter in, I put the quarter in, held up the paddle, and I knew she was, I knew she wanted the 31, or 31 stuff. I'm that to as a bag lady. I have all, all kinds of bags. Yeah. Okay, so what happens is when you have all these, so, it, so somebody's won it. And so what they do is they take these these bowls and they pass them, they pass the quarters up. So they take the furthest bowl, they pour the quarters in, and they take that bowl, pour the quarters in the next one and, until it reaches the front of the room. And then the vendor goes around and gets those quarters. Like I, I went around once, you know, my first auction and, and got my quarters and put them in my little box because they're mine. So the auctions, the quarters go to the vendor. Um, so that's that's part one. So then they have the part one option that the that the vendor. Then of course um, after and then, and then each of the vendors goes up one at a time and they do their auction items until all the vendors have gone around one time, and then that's when they take the break. So they took a break. I don't know, probably around eight o'clock or so. It took about an hour, I think, to get up. Oh, at to least, that point. yeah, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then that was the dinner. Go, they announced, go in, get your, get you something to eat, and uh, and it's also another, um, it's another opportunity for the uh, people to go around to the vendor tables. So the vendor tables, you get to visit. So if you didn't have a chance to visit certain ones, you can certainly, you know, get back around, get back around to them. So that's kind of the first round. Um, in the second round, when the vendor goes up, then they're doing more than one auction item. So this, the second round, again, all the vendors go up one at a time, and the first is an auction, just like the first go around. And then after that's done, then you can, if you have a door prize, then she has a bucket with all of the door prize slips in it. Pick it. And so I then, I then get to explain what my door prize is. And then I get to pull a, a, a ticket out of the door prize, and that person wins whatever whatever I gave them for a yeah. door prize. Um, and then if I do, 
And then I did a table raffle, which again, I did the spot hour for six and the pomegranate uh, body polish. Then um, I had all of the tickets in my fishbowl that I brought up with me. And then they, somebody else pulls the, the names out. And then that's what, that's who the winners are for those. So, and I'm going to um, stop just there, Glenny, because mm -hmm. somebody asked about um, the vendors keep the quarters. Jill, the vendors, it's only that first round that the vendors get the quarters based on how many people do paddles. It's only that first round. Everything else Glennie's describing is for the charity. Correct, Glennie? Charity. Yes. Correct. So the auction yes. items, the auction items, that you've got the first auction round, they got a break, second auction round, but then after the auction, that auction round, then they did the charity items. Yes. So each vendor also brings a charity item that they put yes. on the charity table. Yes. And then all those items, they auction again as well. Yes. So those things, they also, they, they auction, but all that money, all that money went to charity. And this is well. where I saw people, people looking around and if, like, if I didn't have a paddle up, everybody grabbed my paddle because they wanted to make sure in the charity round that that right. lady and her child got, right. got, um, got the money. Yeah. So almost a hundred percent paddles are up in the, in the charity round. And from right. there on out through the evening, you could tell, you could tell the support was amazing. The first, the first auction, Glenny was talking about the vendors. It was like, no, I don't want that. Or I'll wait for that because it had nothing to do with the lady and her child. Yeah, it was, right. it was right. giving back to the vendor, but then here on that's out right. the rest of the evening, it was truly, you could see the spirit of giving being elevated oh, yeah. in that room and people, you know, wanting, grabbing paddles. Like, I, you know, again, if I didn't want it, my paddle was down. Everybody took, said, oh, can I take your paddle? I'm like, oh, you go for it, girl. And um, everybody yeah. wanted the paddles up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, um, I think, gosh, they must have had 50 charity items up there yeah. easily. Oh. Were some, so there were some extra charity items that they brought in that they had gotten donations. So they, they went around and got donations from some of the local businesses. Yes. Um, and got like beautiful um, uh, Vera Wang bags. and that. So at the very, very end, and Kathy, I think you might have left by then. The very, very end, they did one more uh, auction, and it was a live auction. Right. And this was form where... Um, it might have been a Vera bag, and she starts the bidding at ten dollars. So right. you're you're buying your out of your checkbook at that point. Right. To right. So that was like the very very end, and there was probably ten of ten or fifteen of those items that they that they did that with. So I don't know how much they raised last night. I haven't heard yet. I was going to um, go on Facebook and, and see what Lori. <laughs> I'm sure they'll they'll give us a number. Right. I they hope. Will. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but again, it was just, it was so much fun, and I made some fantastic contacts last oh my night, gosh, and, it was um, amazing. you know, with the new relationships that I just started. That are just well, and you amazing. know, the, the lady and her, the young, the mom and her daughter, she, bless her heart, she went out to Crabtree Mall, it's a big mall here in North Carolina, and she went to the different stores, and she told mm -hmm. them what this this auction was for she introduced herself i'm sure she had her daughter with her and they donated like somebody donated a kate spade spay bag i mean yes. you know sunglasses that were brand name i mean she she got a lot of of donations for this and, and that was the auction that i missed the cash auction auction well she did some of the other ones like the bath and body works she did some of those yeah. that were quarter auction charity auctions also but the bigger ones it makes sense to do cash auction auctions, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's where the big bucks came in. That's where yeah. the real meat of the charity was. And then there was, was a fifty-fifty. So, oh yes, and I don't. You know what? The fifty-fifty is if somebody wins, then the um, uh, an auction uh -huh. item. Yeah. Then they the the, the person it's called a left right. No, no, no. That that you can talk no. about that. This was actually somebody coming okay. and fifty-fifty with the cash money. Like you oh, oh, yes. Were they 50% to the charity? 50, yeah, 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 yeah. Which right? I thought yeah, was brilliant. Yeah. yeah, because you have 50% yes. chance of winning $1,000. That's right. So you put yeah. in, what, a dollar or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that I'm, was I'm that. Was, but, the left, right. The left, right was too confusing. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was too confusing. Well, the left, right.
invite only works, I think, if you've got a raffle item yeah. on your table, you can give tickets to. And that's what they were doing. So yeah. if somebody wins this auction, then you get a, the person to the left to and the person to the right to them get five tickets into their table raffle. Table raffle, yeah. Which, yeah, I, that, that to raffle. me was, yeah. this, that was a piece and that I, didn't need to be done. I mean, that, you know, yeah. we were all sitting like, what's that type of thing? So yeah, you want to keep it simple. And they did. Listen, they kept it simple. From, I mean, I, I wasn't part of what Glenny's instructions were, but what I could sense and see, I could do this tomorrow just based on me watching the dynamics of what of what happened. Um, and Glenny, I'm oh, going I to share. Oh, I signed up for next month already. <laughs> oh, I know. I wanted to share about someone came up, and guys, this is what I thought was very interesting, and I'm just going to share this as an idea for you. Well, let me give you a little bit of backdrop or background first. When I was with Pampered Chef, our host received a 10% discount for an entire year. So once you hosted, whatever you purchased for an entire year got a 10% discount. That was just, you know, everybody has their own host rewards program, and that was what Pampered Chef's host reward program was. So, so what I would do, just personally, and I do it now also, it's just what I do. I'm not saying you have to do it, it's just what I do because I did it with Pamper Chef, I, my host doesn't pay shipping ever um, at parties she attends. If she attends a party that was booked off hers, she doesn't have to pay shipping. It shouldn't have to be at the party, but she's, she, 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 she either, she has to, um, she has to, Clay, are you flip full with something? Because I hear it, there's some, okay. Um, there was some background noise, nope. sorry. Okay, I, I don't know where we're getting noise from. Okay, so, um, so what I do is, any bookings my host gets and she supports that party, she gets free shipping. Because I don't want to have to pay six, seven, eight dollars each time she goes to somebody's party because she's supporting them. So I just say, by the way, you got three bookings, you get three, you know, get out of jail card, you know, your free free ship free shipping comment thing. So so I give her that. Um, now last night somebody has a VIP membership that she was donating. And I didn't, I didn't get a chance to ask her, it might've been Amanda, it might've been Amanda from from um, from the, the Damsel in Defense. Damsel, mm-hmm. Yes, because- I think it was actually. She, so we need to ask her. So she has a VIP membership that you, that you pay, you pay for the membership, and then you get 15% off, your, your, from there on, you get 15% off your purchases. Now, I think I asked Glenny or Kim, what what was she talking about? And they said, well, and I don't know if it was you, Glenny. Maybe it was Kim. She said, well, it's forever. And I'm like, oh, no, that would not work with mm -hmm. me. So what I would do is I would give them, I would sell or offer or have a VIP membership that you could buy for a year. And then everything you purchase during that year is 15% off. And, you know, I... I don't believe in free shipping. Now, I told you I give my past host free shipping when she buys from a show, but that's very, that's very strategic why I do that. So I wouldn't say as my VIP customer you get free shipping. Flat rate shipping is what I believe in. So besides a 15% discount or maybe a 10% discount for a year like we did with Pampered Chef, you give a VIP membership to, you offer it to your customers. Um, you offer it at your parties. You offer it during a conversation. They get um, a 10% off for a year and a flat rate shipping of maybe $5. Because, guys, listen to this. When people want to add to their order and the shipping starts to get a little bit higher and a little bit higher, I mean, we've all been there. We're like, oh, you know what? I'll get that mascara later. But if you have a flat rate shipping, your PV is going to go out the roof because they're not looking at that shipping. They're looking at it, but they know it's capped for them at, at four or five dollars, whatever you offer. Now, again, you have to be very aware that she can't do a direct ship because if she does, she'd be in charge of more shipping. So again, but this is your VIP customer. This is something that you know is in your group, not group, is part of your membership. And um, she's getting that 10% discount for a year. She's getting a, you know, again, this is up to you, but I think it's gonna encourage shopping. And then you can take that and tweak it and offer her something like pick a month of your year that you post and you get maybe an extra 50% item. You, you give her, a, and if she earns three, you give her four. 
Um, or give her, like we're doing this month, you give her an extra $50 in cash to spend. Because it's not really $50, because when she orders it, you can, you know, well, you get PV on it. So it's really, you know, you get some money back, your cash back with commission. So anyway, this, these are just some of the things Kim, Kim Harris said to me today, we ran, ran, ran an errand, and she said, do you ever sleep? Do you ever not think about these? And I said, my mind was just going a mile a minute after I heard about this VIP membership because I, listen, my goal, guys, is to make our business look different than anybody else in the industry. I mean, you know that. I say that to you all the time. This is one of the things you could do differently, and you can absolutely make it seem different yeah so anyway so kathy what do you think about a paddle auction i mean this this had multiple vendors in it so incorporating this into a theme for a party if we i mean do you see that do you see any that happening is that something that that could be done in just a party venue where you have guests come in with a as a paddle auction to um, and maybe no. So this is strictly for expo. Listen, I'm I'm giving in. I was trying that. to think. How can no. we add that? How can no. we add that as a theme? No, I would no. because it's, listen, it's so listen, much. Listen to what you listen to. How much time we were there? We were there last night from six to eleven. So can you imagine? That's a long time. Could, I mean, yeah. no. You have to keep it where it's multiple direct sales consultants, where you have a a venue that holds multiple. Where you, the, mm -hmm. the reason it was the reason we were so excited last night is because of the entire setup. Oh yeah, and and, there were so many vendors and so well, many people, and, and, the, and the relationships and everything that was in that room, the dynamics. You cannot, you should not try to recreate that in somebody's home. Never. Yeah. Yeah. No. So no. not a thing. No, I I truly believe this would work. Now you don't have to have thirty eight vendors or thirty five, however many were. You could start with five. You could start with five yeah. vendors because think about it. If you choose an organization that's local in your community, all of those vendors, friends and families and customers are going to flock to that paddle party because they know that organization, right? And if you pick a family, yeah. let's say somebody's trying to adopt and you pick a family, um, you know, well, I don't know if it would do. I think you have to have more... Well, this 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 lady was doing her her dog. Everybody yeah, was family. Know her. Yeah. So I don't know how they yeah. knew her, but a lot of people knew her. Well, and I'll tell you, yeah. I think a lot of the customers were there were were as a result of her. But anyway, I I I just I think there's so many moving parts that made this so successful that were heart tug parts. I mean, honestly, oh, yeah. I can't tell you how moved I was all night watching. And listening and just it was and watching Glenny. Glenny was probably one of the most popular tables there because of the way her table was set up, because of the way the people were engaged, because she was educational and um and then the hand spa. I mean it she by far had the most um had the most, you know, the most, you know, um visibility. However, we both talked about the fact that for raffle items it'd be different next time because you just Hi. There, there were enough paddles up, but if you had said, here's an essential oil, um, when you travel, would you like to have a nightlight that also yep. diffuses in the in the, the hotel room, or do you have a nightlight in your bathroom when it's cold in the flu season? I mean, people can relate to those type of, of raffle items. So choose carefully, guys. Do not choose something that you cannot choose healing elements, because by the time you finish describing it, it's a snooze fest. You've lost, you've lost people. You've got to, you've yeah. got to engage them to say, how many of you, oh my gosh, this is going to do it. You're going to plug it into your car. You're going to plug in this. I mean, and that's just an example, but truly it's got to be something that people are like, oh, I, I travel with the soccer players. They smell at my car. I get road rage. I need that lavender. I mean, truly yeah. you've got to tell stories that everybody's like paddle, paddle. I mean, the 31 bag? I mean, we all know what bags do, but paddles, paddles, paddles were up for that 31. Yes. Yeah. Or even the body polishes, because if you're doing a hand spa treatment, I mean, they were oohing and on over the, yeah, the body yeah. polish. So they can relate. They can relate to that. So. Yeah, they, they could. They could. Yeah. I just, again, I was just saying something that people all have cars. They all have yeah. night lights and, and things like that. So, yeah, I think the body polish, you know, 
Yeah, we had some men in the room and they were funny because they were talking about one guy did, or, you know, won the lip sense and we're saying, okay, <laughs> you've, you've got to model it or you've got to give it up. There's your two choices. Yeah. So, um, okay. Let's see if they have any other um, questions, Flenny, before you scoot off. Okay. Let me see. Can you see or do I see? Um, yes and no. I can only see the last quote. Oh, no, I can see. Hold on. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, so um, get back up to the top here. Lori, so um, we limit to 10 vendors, less than two hours, done in December for Christmas for our troops. Oh, that's a wonderful, that's a wonderful, you know, um, um, cause, obviously, for the troops. So, yeah, Lori, that's a great. Yeah, I don't um, know. Two, two hours, I mean, I would have loved that, but honestly, nobody was moving. I mean, they weren't moving. They were in their they, seats. The break for dinner was so nice. I mean, and yeah. what did they serve? Macaroni and cheese with or without ham. That was, you know, that was it. But people were buying it because it was benefiting yeah. them. Yeah, um, the girl, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, Lori says their tickets are $5. They spend 25 amongst vendors. You are a great second paddle. They limit two. Oh, yeah, so you can buy a second paddle. You know, I don't know. Did they offer second paddles last night? No. They oh, did. So no. you only oh, no. oh, yes, they did. Buy. yes, they did. They did. You checked in, okay. you could buy as many paddles. At, absolutely, you could buy as many. But then that just meant more quarters, you know, that you were putting yeah. in. So a lot of people didn't buy. But our, and our vendors did get paddles. Somebody, I saw somebody's note yeah. that said vendors don't get. No, all of our vendors got a chance to get a paddle too. And I and I believe in okay. that because, I mean, they're they're voting. They're putting their quarters in also. Yeah. Um, so Jill's question about how do how does the vendors? Um, yeah, we, we I think we answered, yeah we did that, Jill. We answered yeah. that, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was tons of fun. Oh my gosh, it was. And, yeah, it was. It was. So you know, we'll we'll continue to to, to look at the Facebook um, to this to this video. If you guys still have questions, um, we'll we'll answer them. Let's see, Renee, guess by four or six sometimes. Yeah, so. Yeah, you could buy as many guests as, as many paddles as you wanted. We were just we were using um, everyone else's around us who weren't in at that point in time. So yeah, we but were, it was we so were, much fun. Yeah, everybody yeah. knew we were new. I mean, we were like, what what's going on? What you know? Everybody's like, this is you're you're new, aren't you? I'm like, mm -hmm, we are. And they're they were so nice. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna encourage you guys get with your leaders if you're local to your leaders. You guys. You all know other direct sales people. So if you have 131 and she says no, somebody else needs a 31. And, you know, we had Avon. We had 31. I mean, we just had Lulu Room and they had another another leg in person. Um, we had two people there that made their own products. One lady made her own candles and jewelry. And then somebody else did screen printing on, like, tea towels yeah. and stuff like that. It was, yeah. it was wonderful. I mean, it was wonderful yeah. to see everybody want to be part of this – this event as a vendor it was it was magical and it was yeah it was yeah. really and twenty dollars was you nice. know, so go to your church i mean church have halls that you can yeah. rent um yeah. you know the lo your local chambers your chamber of commerce yeah. will usually have yeah. a room that yeah. can be that can be rented out for things like this so well, you and know, the other thing kim um, and i talked about last night there's a lot of churches that don't like to do um or a lot of like a fire hall or fire hall down the road here won't allow you to do things when you're selling. Well, this is not selling. This is mm -hmm. this is a fundraiser as an organ as supporting organization. So I would revisit them if you say, "Well, Kathy, my church doesn't allow it because of this." Revisit it because this is not selling. This is an auction to support someone that needs money. And um, so I would go back and visit every single place that you've been turned away before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and oh, I just Renee. Let's you see, Renee. Renee runs them. She said she'd love to talk to you all this weekend. Yeah, Renee, get with get with Glenny. She's the yeah. she's the guru Absolutely. now. <laughs> no, don't say that. So um, Glenny, yeah. and um, I don't know if Glenny has time this weekend, but um, yeah, we we would we would love to. I mean, we're not going to ever do it ourselves. We're going to tap into these ladies just because we're we're now so accepted by them, and. Um, you know, loved on, and yeah, so yeah, I think. Um, well, it was kind of funny, Kathy, because I just talked to a preschool that has a gym, 
Uh, preschools usually don't have gyms, but this was a huge room, almost as big as the one we were in last night that they used for the preschool. Uh, and they were very open to holding functions there. And I was looking at putting something together to do for charity with multiple vendors. But this is, so this was perfect. It's a perfect way to do that. If you want to try and, and start giving back, you can certainly find places in your community that would do that for you. Yeah. Well, and February is the month of love. And so a lot of times when you are pitching a, a fundraiser in the month of February, it gets, it, people's, People feel the love in the month of February. So that's the perfect month to try this. You've got plenty of time yep. to find a venue, to grab the, the organization. And think about it, guys. Our discontinued items that are you know, no longer to be going to carry forward that are discounted, you could order those and easily bring those in as no longer available. And you know, my encouragement is you order them now to keep them around because they're no longer available. Um, but the key is is to go ahead and, and you take advantage of that and use it as these as these paddle these things in February to, to kind of you know explore this option in February and you know and, and you have direct sales friends you do ask them what their thoughts are as far as joining you not what their thoughts are about having it because we've already told you have it but what their thoughts are about joining you and if they've ever done it and um, they may invite you to be part of theirs which would be perfect because yeah. they've already done all the work. And got everything you just you, not just you set up a table and you're there um yeah so so anyway um yeah i'm jen glenny i'm so happy that we did it together because we had listen we're the three musketeers you know, here we do everything together and try to figure out what works and what doesn't work and um i'm just thrilled to have glenny and kim local with me so it's it's a lot of fun Kim is watching too. Kim, Kim had a good time. We all had a good time last night. We I did, just want to yeah. say too. Yeah, I want to say one more thing. So, um, as far as the setup, I know that the Facebook, the Facebook page is being. It's just for the vendors, but then they use they use that page to notify the vendors of the events. So there's events that they set up. Um, and then they also do a public page, a public event, so that we can invite people. So uh, I'm going to look a little bit more in that and see how that's set up. But it's certainly a way to get the word out, especially in in, in well. You and know, now you've Facebook. got all, you've got you've got vendors that you could joint party with. Right. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I mean, there were people there, like a 31 party and a lemongrass spa party. They need a yeah. nice little tote bag with all these little pockets to put our samples yeah. and our lip balm in. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, uh, there are so many, whew, so many different opportunities. My mind is choo, 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 choo. So anyway, I'll be back. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I will too. All right. Okay. Well, thanks, thank you, Kathy. Kenny. Oh my gosh. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your, your Sunday, sweetie. Hey, well, thanks for being there last night because I was a newbie and it was nice having you there. So. It was fun. Oh, all right. Okay. It was bye, fun. Guys. All right. Bye.